what's up y'all good morning um hey welcome back to another vlog i'm tiffany williams glitz and glam by tiff.com is my blog um i talk about fashion lifestyle and kind of just share what i'm doing sharing what i'm up to and um share with y'all <laughs> um so yeah i'm gonna do another vlog today I have an event to go to, I have a meeting to go to, I need to get some work done before I leave for my meeting, and just kind of want to like take y'all through the day. Um, I went to an event last night, which I shared in the previous vlog, and it was super fun, I'm glad I got to go. It was for a bakery, actually I got some cupcakes, I should share that with y'all, um, so you can see what they look like, and um everything was so good I feel like I like <laughs> sweet overload <laughs> so many sweets oh my gosh at one time but everything was very delicious and the bakery is called Sugar Bears it's actually opening today it's in um, downtown San Diego so actually I need to post a reel this morning on that so yeah I need to get like a couple of things done as far as um posting goes and then I have a couple of blog posts that I'm working on too to like promote brands and that kind of thing so um let me get get to that I'll share the cupcakes and then we'll talk about other things that are happening during the day um if you are interested in knowing more about what I do interested in joining the family here being a, a friend um i hope you subscribe and uh follow along see what's up you can also follow me on instagram at the tiffany williams i have tiktok which we won't talk about that right now because you know things are happening over there um i'm pretty much on every platform um for the most part uh either at the tiffany williams or glitz and glare by tiff um, so, yeah, <laughs> I, gonna get my day started, I will t chat with you guys a little bit more soon. Oh my gosh, hold on, I have to talk about this, this is too funny to me, I get so much spam email sometimes, well not, not so much, but like, <laughs> most of the spam goes to spam, but every once in a while there's an email that comes through about like random collaborations or um talking about representatives and like this and that and <laughs> let me see if you can see this like i'm gonna read it to y'all but i think it's hilarious how people are still going around i mean i know it's a thing but it's just like wait what like this whole email doesn't even make sense like, there's a lot of, like, hoopla in here that's not needed. The way how it's worded, it's like, are you kidding? And also, another thing, I'm just like, okay, y'all don't even have a, um, there's no website in here. There's no, like, information about the actual brand that you're, quote, managing and want to collaborate on. There's just a lot of just, like things that are red tape and red flags that I'm just like nah no mm -mm. and also they start off with hello dear any email that starts with hello dear I know that it's a scam because <laughs> what usually when a um, uh, collaboration company or anybody that wants to actually collaborate usually either put my my name from Instagram like in the email or they will put my name and my Instagram name in the email or like something relating to my blog or something like that. And they'll actually have links in there. They actually have people that it's an actual person to contact back. The email doesn't look fishy or crazy. And there's just different things to look for within an email to know that it's a scam and not to fall for it. Because I know a lot of people fall for this type of stuff. And I'm here to share this because I'm like, I don't, I don't need people falling for the okie doke because I think it's crazy. So let me read it to you. It says, hello, dear. 
I hope this message finds you well. I am, I'm not going to say his name, brand influencer marketing manager here at Nutriful Management. First of all, Nutriful, isn't that a hair company, hair care company, or like something for people that are like, um, not balding, but like have spots that they're trying to regain hair from? Make that make sense. Um, since we are reaching out to you today with an exciting collaboration influencer slash ambassador campaign last quarter the last quarter we since and also there's typos this is a run-on sentence yeah no um the last quarter and we sincerely wish you would be part of our company's history which we believe aligns perfectly with your unique style and presence as a representative of neutral management which what the heck is neutral management <laughs> we have been thoroughly impressed by your talent, creativity, and influence in, influence within the industry. Your Instagram profile is great. We think our brand customer our brand customers would love the beautiful and captivating content you have. We discovered your page on Instagram Reels hashtag Explore, and we became interested in the beauty of your content. This sounds like a whole bunch of BS. <laughs> This collaboration, the company would be sending you monthly, free monthly packages, 10 items of your choice every month. Why do I want that many items every month from a supplement brand, if that's the case? I can't even get through 10 items in the first month. It's crazy. Um, <clears throat> With your own exclusive discount code to share, make shout outs and we will repost on our official Instagram and website. Okay, now this is the part that I feel like some people would get tripped up on because usually if there is an Instagram page for the brand, they'll put their Instagram page in there for you to actually click on it and go to so you can check out their website and check out all their things um, to be able to see like if you want to work with them or not so there's a lot of there's no links in here like i said there's no website in here there's no nothing it's just like all this fluff talking about you're gonna get this and you're get you're gonna get that but wait it gets better at neutral we are committed to showcasing and promoting exceptional talent while focusing mean while fostering meaningful partnerships after careful consideration we can we strongly believe that you possess the qualities we are seeking for potential collaboration as either a brand ambassador, influencer, or model for our upcoming campaigns. Funny how they added model in there. Um, by contributing, by collaborating with Neutral Management, still this Neutral Management, like what the heck? Um, you will have the opportunity to become an integral part of our brand's journey, helping us reach new heights, connect with a wider audience, which you get to be paid. A 25th percentile wages like what four thousand two hundred fifty dollars weekly this is your social media this is for your social media engagements okay none of that makes sense here are a few key points about our company and why we think you would be a great fit okay quick summary of benefits as of 2022 as of 2020 till date we have a record of over now, this doesn't make sense. <laughs> Why does it matter what is going on in their company for me to be a, quote, influencer, ambassador, model, whatever it is? Um, it says, our employees may join in a wide selection of benefits. So... <laughs> this is why this email is a scam. Because how are you going to go from talking about... Being a talent or creative into going into what you would receive as an employee. This is a copied paste, copy and paste situation. Because then it talks about like benefits and what you're qualified for. It's talking about getting paid times off. Summer Fridays, a sabbatical. You get parental leave, flexible work arrangements, employee discount program. <sighs> hilarious and then it, at the end it says please note that we genuinely value your time and understand that you may receive numerous collaboration requests if you require any further information or have any questions please do not hesitate to reach out to us we are more than happy to provide 
any additional details you may need. Thank you for your consideration. Uh, this collaboration opportunity with Nutrafol Management, we look forward to the possibility of working together and create something extraordinary. Warm regards, the marketing manager. This is an absolutely <laughs> ridiculous email. I don't understand. I don't think they understand how ridiculous this is. <laughs> Whoever this neutral management is. But I had to share this because, like, I was talking about this recently on my stories. And it's so funny because my sister, she had mentioned it recently. Like, oh, my gosh, I wish you would, like, read an email. I read an email now because this is absolutely insane. And I just had to share that. And also just to bring awareness to uh, there's a lot of emails out there and a lot of people that are scamming. And, um... I don't, I just, yeah, I wanted to share that so people can kind of catch things and see, like, how things are and just know what to look for. Um, yeah, <laughs> I had to share that. Um, anyway, let me get on with my day. showered right quick slapping on some skincare and uh got a ski daddle skedaddle skedaddle I'm not doing like all the stuff that I normally do <laughs> We have a meeting with my business partner. Um, we have a class coming up on Sunday for runway, teaching runway models, um, coaching them on skills and stuff. So I need to get that together. We always go over like bills and payments and um, see what we need to pay for. <laughs> it's always something to pay for in business. Always something to pay for. I know we have fees and stuff. Tax season is coming. Tax season is here, actually. So that's a whole other thing, too. Things that don't tell you when owning a business. They don't tell you a lot. And I'm learning so much along the way, so. I want to be able to share those things here too because I think it's important to share the knowledge that you know with people so that other people know what they're getting themselves into because there's a lot of things that people talk about in business I mean there's a lot of things that people don't talk about in business and they think it's just like oh yeah you you know put a company together and like you start making all this money no <laughs> that's not really how it works is not how it works at all it takes time to plan things out it takes time to like market and gather the people that you really want to be a part of your community so that's what we're working on right now and I mean like things have been going pretty well I would say so far as far as like being a startup because we are a startup just getting started um hasn't even been a year yet um so yeah you just have to hope for the best and keep going don't stop but anyway let me let me get going because i have to go let me put on my sweatshirt and stuff 
Um, we always wear our branded merch whenever we go places. My glasses are always dirty. Whatever. Um, usually, let's see. I wear wigs a lot, so my hair is just always just braided back. <laughs> just braided back, and then I just put my braids in a ponytail and call it a day. And then usually I just put a hat on. And then I'll like rebraid my hair at some point whenever I decide to like switch it around and stuff. Let's see, can I see out of my glasses? Kinda. I have a pimple. I don't know where that came from. Whatever. Get my charger today. Okay. All right. Gotta go. So I was jamming out to the Tiny Desk, uh, Justin Timberlake's Tiny Desk. So good. If you haven't watched it, or if you're not really not into Tiny Desk like that, I think you should watch that one. The Usher one was good. Tanache, I've seen that one recently. That one's good. Charlie Wilson, that's another favorite. Um, I try to catch different ones when I can. There's like a lot of really good artists on there. <clears throat> and it's just always cool to like see a different side. Um of music and then it's like live and like uncut basically but the way how they put the production together like let go hate but anyway i put a wig on um and i'm just letting that kind of like sit and settle as i do my makeup i'm actually going to an event tonight another night another event um and i'm actually going out to the club herb <laughs> I can't tell you the last time I set foot up in a club <laughs> I do not go out like that anymore uh, I feel like I haven't really gone out like that since I was about probably like 25 26 years old so like 10 years ago yeah party days <laughs> have been like long past me but every once in a while, you know, go to an event or something. Actually, I went to, well, it wasn't like during club time. I went to a birthday party last year. It was at a club, but like it wasn't during club hours. So I don't see that. I don't think that counts. Mm -mm, that doesn't count. But I got invited um, to an influencer event tonight at one of the clubs in downtown. Um, so I'll share what's popping, what's happening. I'm about to do my makeup. Um, right now it is 7.39. The event starts at 10. So I'm trying to get there like at 10 o'clock or around like 10 something. And 
leave, probably stay for like maybe an hour, maybe two, and get on out of there because I have an event tomorrow morning that I need to get up for and I can't be out here partying all night. That's not my jam. That's not what I do. So I'm going to put on some makeup and um, get myself together and I'll check back in and show you my outfit because it's it's themed. The theme tonight is a prey ski, which it's so interesting that the, that's a huge theme this year, like all over the place. Um, and it's like a huge trend. So it's like winter wonderland themed. So I'll get some footage on my phone because I don't really feel like bringing a bunch of stuff with me tonight. Um, and then I'll insert clips in and stuff like what it all looks like and how things came together, etc, etc. It should be a fun time. Um... Yeah, I'll see what happens when I get there. It's, it's, it's so good for like evening out. We just like a simple cloud with like a mini scale on the pencil scale or a maxi scale. I'm worried. 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 I'm worried.
take this wig off and this headband. With my wigs, I always just um, put got to be gel on them. So then it's just easy to like unstick. And I always put it on my forehead and not like on my hair. So I'm not pulling the hair out. Which I do have some like baby hairs on my forehead. So sometimes they do get a little stuck. Um, but yeah. So then it's just easy to maneuver. Take off my wigs. Okay. I'm free. I'm free. But yeah, anyway, to, well, today I have another event. Um, I'm on my panel and I need to um, get ready for that. I have my outfit already picked out. I just need to steam my pants right here. And um, another day, another event. I'll talk to y'all in the morning. Good morning. <laughs> I'm so tired. But <clears throat> another day, another event. I'm having leftovers from yesterday from my lunch. <laughs> I'm doing a nose pore strip thing. It's from this um, Royale Beauty. It's this box miracle patch. And it has like three different things in it. And I didn't expect it to be, it's like a wet kind of cloth. I thought it was going to be, you know, like one of those, um, it's almost like gel that like stick on your nose and you have to like peel it off. That's not this at all. So experimenting. I do know how it works. Okay, so I just took my vitamins <clears throat> and I put this other part of the pore strip on. There's like three different uh, steps. The first step was the first, it's the melting pore sheet. Like I said, it's, well, this one is also um, wet. It's not a dry type of thing. Um, so you do the first step. Then they give you these little like swabby things here and it has like the little circle part like where you get rid of all the stuff which doesn't really have anything on my face so i'm just like i don't know how well this worked and then <laughs> um this is the third step but that's what i'm doing right now and it just kind of like has like soothing <clears throat> stuff on it um yeah I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I like these. <laughs> or I don't know if it's going to make a difference, to be honest. We'll see. Probably once I put my makeup on, I think I'll probably be able to tell. But I mean, it is very moisturizing. I still need to put on the rest of my skincare, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm not too sure yet. I'm not really sure. But anyway, <clears throat> when I finish getting myself together, it is now 9.38. The goal, I want to leave here by at least, maybe a little bit before 10.30. <clears throat> um, yeah. Because the panel that I'm on today, it's at 12.00. <clears throat> so and it's not that far from here I just want to make sure I have time 
to get situated and like greet everybody and see what's going on once I get there. So, um, hopefully I can share some clips with y'all and share like the event itself and like what's going on and whatnot. And um, I'll talk to y'all soon. <laughs> So I'm just leaving the panel. I'm actually about to head over to Target. Um, the panel was really good today. We talked about sustainable fashion and just ways to kind of add personal style to your closet and your wardrobe and not shopping so much and like overconsumption and just different things along those lines. Um, I don't think I was able to get it. Well, I kind of got clips around like how the closet sale was and like what closet detox is um it happens every couple of months here in san diego evelyn is the one who organizes it and she um, put it all together i've known her for so long now like we've done so much together so it's cool to be a part of this event and also just like share an aspect of fashion that i feel like a lot of people know about but a lot of people aren't really um i don't know not like using a ton sometimes so it's yeah it's super fun it's super fun it's a super fun event i'm um, glad i'm able to be a part of it and yeah so tomorrow um i'm teaching a runway class with my partner my business partner ramon and um i need to pick up a few things from target i have a couple of things i need to do personally myself like finish my laundry <laughs> Actually, I'm almost basically done with my laundry, but I need to fold all my laundry. But I need to pick up some more um, washing liquid, like washing detergent. And um, I also need to share my outfit and share with y'all what I wore. Because I just got these pants from Banana Republic. Um, they have long and petite sizes and like regular sizes, which is super cool. So um, they actually were able to send these to me in the mail because they didn't have this size in store so if you're ever looking for um something in store and they don't have it they can order it for you and have it shipped and you just pay for it in store and then they take care of the rest and you don't have to go anywhere you just get it shipped to your house but it's always cool to like see stuff in person and try things on so that's kind of what i did like of course i bought something in store too but I'm all about looking for just like pieces that make a statement, things that I can mix and match in my closet. So I don't buy a ton, a ton of stuff. Like I try to limit what I'm buying and just buy things that I feel like I can wear over and over again. Like for example, this bodysuit, I've worn this a couple of times already. Um, I got it from Express and yeah, like it's, it's super versatile. It is sequined -y. I'm all about sequins. I'm all about a sequins piece. But it can go with so many different things so i think that's something i want to focus on more just talking about like how to mix and match stuff because that's something i've always done i've always had things in my closet that i've had for ages like for years so it can be done it's definitely possible but anyway let me get up in target and pick up a few things and uh I'm gonna go home i am so tired honestly like my eyes hurt like they hurt i think i need a nap I'm back. <clears throat> I um, went to the event which I shared and I kind of talked a little bit after and then I did a Target run right quick because I needed some things. I needed some things for tomorrow because tomorrow I'm teaching a class for runway and then I just needed some essential things. Um, but I wanted to talk about a couple of things that I found and a couple of things that I'm kind of excited to try. That I haven't tried yet that I saw and wanted to share them with you. So one thing I got was washing detergent, like washing laundry soap and um, dryer sheets and stuff. I like to use a lot of um, things that are plant-based, non-toxic, like things like that. And I love these dryer um, 
fabric softener sheets from 7th Generation and they smell like fresh lavender. They are my favorite. They smell so good. You can smell them outside the pack. <laughs> and they're just like fresh and clean and you don't feel like itchy or anything because I feel like with some detergents and things like that it's just like not the best ingredients but I love these. And then um, the liquid that I use is the Myers Clean Day one. And it's also, is it also the lavender? Yeah, wait, is it lavender? I think it's lavender. Yes, lavender, it says it right in my face. This is also a lavender scent. Apparently I love lavender. But no lavender, just it's it's fresh. I like it. Um, one thing that is like not like a clean ingredient thing, but something that I like is the downy rinse and refresh. I like using a little bit of this, especially on my workout clothes, because I sweat a lot and workout clothes start to stink <laughs> if you don't wash them properly. So I feel like this helps to remove a lot of odors and things. And it's like put a little cap of it and just it helps so much and it makes my laundry super super fresh and um yeah i haven't noticed like any irritation or anything like that with using it so i love this um another thing that i found that i saw that i was ex that i'm excited to try is i use mr clean magic eraser active foaming cleaners i was like this sounds amazing because sometimes when I'm cleaning my bathtub, like, it's just, I don't know, like, certain things I feel like don't work as well. So, I'm excited to try these, see how they work out. Um, the Magic Erasers, just as a whole, I like, the, I like using them for cleaning, but this is so cool that they have, like, a foaming, like, cleaner within the Magic Eraser. So, I feel like that's probably going to be something that I use in. We'll see. And this also has, um, a Febreze scent. I believe it's lavender also. We are in the lavender theme. What can I say? Hmm. Yep, lavender scent. <laughs> um, <clears throat> let's see. I love matcha. And I've been hearing about Chamberlain Coffee. And I saw this um, matcha mix. It's lavender. Lavender. <laughs> lavender. We are on theme. It's a lavender matcha latte with oat milk and I've just found it interesting and I've heard good things about the brand. So I'm just like, why not try it? Why not try it out and see how it is? Um, yeah, because I drink matcha all the time and yeah, just thought it'd be something good and different to try out. Oh, these things from Febreze, Febreze Small Spaces, they are so good for little spaces and just add like a bit of freshness to like a room. I put one usually in my bathroom and then I have one usually in my room somewhere and I feel like it just like helps to keep my room like fresh and um, just like it smells clean. I love the Gain scent. That's been my favorite so far. I have another one right now. I feel like I don't really like it as much so I might take it out. And put it somewhere else um yeah but i like these that i was excited to see like individually are these the liquid death teas the tea um they have tea so they're known for the water they have sparkling water regular water um and yeah, they start off with just like regular water, but then they had launched tea, but I feel like I had only seen the tea in like a pack, but I'm like, I just want to try it individually. I don't want to buy a whole case of water. What if I don't like it? <laughs> you know what I mean? So I got the, it's rest in peach, which is this one, and it's iced tea, agave, and vitamins, and then this one is... A sweet tea is called the Grim Leafer. <laughs> These names crack me up. So let's see, which one should I try? Let's do this one. Okay. 
time that's good <clears throat> it's just a regular iced tea but it's not as sweet as um other teas i think because it has agave and then it has like natural vitamins you can kind of tell that it has like um things that are more like natural in it like it doesn't taste like super artificial if that makes sense like brisk like it doesn't have that like brisk brisky taste that's pretty good i like that um and then i bought an augie pop because i love their different flavors i just got a ginger ale because <clears throat> Sometimes I just feel like I just need a ginger ale. And I love things with ginger in it. And I like that it has probiotics, botanicals, and other things. And, I mean, between Olipop and Poppy, I like them both. They're, I, I don't know. They're both great. But I know they're kind of like rivals right now. But, what can I say? <laughs> this, was, this was in the refrigerated section. So I just picked one up. Everything else that I got. Oh yeah, I did get um, I got some creamer. <clears throat> I always get the Silk brand. I like their almond milk creamer, and usually I get just the sweet, sweet and creamy. Um, and I add it. I like to add it into my matcha lattes. So I got some of that. Oh, and I picked up some baskets because I need some baskets for my clothes. <laughs> but other than that, I'm about to change. This is like a part of my look that I wore. I'm going to have to insert um, stuff in, but I had this bodysuit for a little while. It's from Express and I got some new newer pants from Banana Republic. Um, but yeah, I do I want to end this vlog here. I may end this vlog here, or I might start another video, or I might keep this going till tomorrow. We'll see. If I do end it here, thank you so much for watching. Um, I appreciate y'all. If you like what I've been sharing recently, go ahead, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, come back, tell a friend, share. Um, we do fashion, lifestyle. We talk about different things here. <laughs> Try to make it fun. And yeah. Um, thank y'all so much. I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.